so much, Congresswoman Nita Lowy. Thank you, Congressman Ed Royce. Aaron Nobel, of course, and um, AAM, uh, the board, the host committee, and the wonderful work that you do. Um, I should also begin by thanking His Majesty. <laughs> um, but as you can see, um, we're very lucky in Jordan to have an enabling environment in which to do this, thanks in great part, of course, to His Majesty and his vision. Um, my husband, my family, those members of family who are here, and my friends, thank you for being here. And a special thanks to what we refer to very fondly in Amman as the Hollywood team. Some of you <laughs> I've already said hi to. Um, all of you actually have earned a very special place in Jordan. And I'm just going to say this very simply, just having heard everything you've heard, um, because you get it. Um, the power of film is actually the reason why my husband, Prince Ali, created the Royal Film Commission 14 years ago. And like everybody here, he believes and I believe that the power of film to change lives, to make dreams come true, to inspire, um, is of course undeniable. Ultimately though, it is also, and this is also what AAM is about, about understanding one another, sharing human, hopefully humanistic values. And that's why the work of AAM and the RFC is so important for our kingdom and for the region at large. That is also why the work that we do at the Jordan Media Institute, because it's the power of film and the power of media, is so important. If anything, um, events around us, of course, show us that there is a need to understand the news from each other's perspective constantly. And that needs a lot of training, a lot of understanding, a lot of work. That's, again, where the power of media lies. And that's why I founded the, media, uh, the Georgian Media Institute, uh, with a lot of support at home and also with friends uh, from abroad. We've just graduated the eighth intake of our master's students. All in all, since we started the Jordan Media Institute, we've graduated close to 190 students. Uh, and actually, the and I'm very, very proud to say that the gender balance is equal among them. <laughs> It's a huge honor and I feel, I don't know how to express my thanks and gratitude because um, it's true, I've worked very hard to set up the Jordan Media Institute for, um, we, we just graduated actually the 8th intake, master's programs, and we've graduated over the years about 190 students, um, equally male and female. Uh -huh. um, so it's it's been a lot of work, but it's it means so much to be recognized. Because sometimes when you're in the middle of it, you yes. know, you don't... Um, you don't realize how important... No, yeah, you don't. The I mean, you, the impact that you're having. Yes. Yeah. Um, but it's so important nowadays, and I think when we look at... Um, I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but our world today, we need such a thorough understanding of news. And, and that in turn also, I really deeply believe, not just understanding the news. Yes. It's about understanding the news. Of, of, of everyone, yes. And how, how are you educating the whole world about the Muslim community and the Middle East and all of that? We're working, we're trying to work on that and uh, actually America Abroad Media has been a huge help because they really understand why this is important and why this um, um, mutual understanding is important for the whole world. They've helped us a lot with that and supported us. That's one, something I do through the Georgia Media Institute and also through the Royal Film Commission, which my husband established 14 years ago. I think there's huge power. I mean, the theme of this evening, the power of film. Yeah, the power. Um, yes. There is huge power yeah. in that. Um, and I think everybody can benefit from knowing one another. And of course, film, I'm sure you remember when you were a kid, there must have been a couple of films that oh, inspired yeah. you yeah. or that stay with you. And I think if you can do that to really help people understand that at the end of the day, we're all human beings. Yes. We're all doing our best. Yes, we're all in this together. <laughs> we're all in this together. Yeah, and yeah. I think film has that power. And, yeah. and the media has that power if it's harnessed properly. Yes, if it's harnessed properly. Um, yeah. And you've so, done a beautiful job with that. You're so kind. Thank you. We do our best. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you.
We've also launched a very important media literacy program, which I think is going to be very important for generations to come. Ultimately, being, be it on the small screen of your smartphone, or on the silver screen, or on the TV screen, the power of film and image to create change is really huge. We've all seen that, Her Majesty mentioned it, and this is, I think, why, we'll, why we're all here, because we all believe that. But I think we owe it to young people everywhere who want their voices heard, to have these voices heard through film and through media, to learn how to tell stories, to know one another better, um, because as somebody dramatically said once, the future of our generations, the safety of our generations, lies there and how we're able to harness that power. Thank you very much.